I'm Fox 13 Chief Meteorologist Paul Delegato. Here's an update as we stand with Tropical Storm Debbie. This is a, the visible satellite during the day, and you know, without a doubt, the storm continues to intensify. And we are really kind of in, for lack of better words, just we're in the wrong spot when it comes to the storm now. We're on the east side, and all the weather from Debbie is pretty much over us. And look at the line of clouds that extends way down towards Cuba. And we're going to be kind of in the tail, in this tail of Debbie through tonight, and at least for a portion of tomorrow, until the storm gets way up there in the Big Bend and starts moving away. Top wind 65, uh, there will be additional intensification, and Debbie will make landfall in the Big Bend, up in the Big Bend, uh, probably as a Cat 1 hurricane, maybe a Cat 2 if it kind of overcomes a bit of shear and some dry air trying to come in from the southwest side. And then the storm heads up towards Georgia and then it gets stuck. And this forecast beyond a couple of days uh, is low confidence. We do think it'll produce some, some bad weather up in the Carolinas uh, through Thursday into Friday with some very heavy rain. Again, rainfall is going to be a big problem because we're going to get stuck in kind of the tail of the storm. So this is not going to be a system where the rain ends quickly. It'll rain off and on at least into tomorrow, and because of the amount of water in the atmosphere, it's going to be a lot of those tropical downpours when it really comes down. Got a flood watch in effect, no shock at all, and water levels continue high. Put the future cast into motion. This, I think this kind of gives you a sense of how we stay in these bands coming in from the southwest for the next 12 to 18 hours, if not longer. Uh, the winds will pick up and they'll stay from the west, and then They'll start going west-southwest as the storm goes up towards the Big Bend, and that'll cause a problem with high water. So another round of coastal flooding is likely overnight because of a west-southwest wind. And for that reason, got a storm surge warning. It includes all of Tampa Bay, down by Anna Maria, through Manatee County. Uh, water levels running at least several feet above average, about three to five in Tampa Bay, even higher as you head up to the Big Bend as winds turn to the west and southwest. Stay with us. We'll have more updates both online and on Fox 13. Have a good night.